Hey, hey guys, hold up. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're gonna take a look at Capricorn and Aries of relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We are gonna take a look and see what's going on with this connection. I'm gonna read these as a love relationship, but you know, other stuff comes out, business deals, all types of stuff, right? So guys, also, if you see my content anywhere that it doesn't belong, um, please report it. You know, they're stealing views and, and, and putting it in their accounts overseas. So, you know, I want you guys to report anything. And your own stories, too. I want you to share them. So I'm going to get right into this because I want to see what's going on in this relationship. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. Also, check out my store, Cups and Masks. Those are like, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, yeah. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. What do I want to pull first? I'm looking. I do see and I do see. Oof. Mm. All right, I'm going to keep it like this. <clears throat> the only thing about these cards, and this is Irving Crow. Yeah, Irving Crow Oracle. I was like, why don't I use these cards? I had them packed away a different way. And then I had to, um, you know, unpack and move some some cards just whatever so yeah anyway i got access to them so capricorn your energy right now at the moment routine some of you guys there's something here about a routine there's a, a routine that you guys carry out i guess i'm not sure i think that's nighttime there's some nighttime routine that you have and then there's also a daytime routine to me this is actually the dark and that's the light there's some kind of routine something having to do with foundations all right for some of you guys this is you making sure that you are manifesting your stability now for some of you guys this is about a partnership and this is about having some kind of balance in a partnership where you want harmony but there needs to be some cooperation this could be a this could be a business relationship but it also could be love i'm picking up on that because i'm seeing harmony is needed even when you do business you have to have some sort of harmony relationships and also business all right let's see what else comes up we also have here the mimi cry i'm not sure what this one is the mimi cry let me see if i can figure this one out i'm gonna say that there's something where maybe there's somebody who's saying something expression i see a three here if i break that down there's gonna be somebody the end of a cycle expression there's somebody that you guys uh, refuse to renewal something with there could be different interpretations of this, but I feel like it's something that you guys are, I refuse to, there's something that you haven't done in terms of a group or an expansion of something. If you guys are trying to grow your business, you have a routine that needs to be interrupted or it has been interrupted. Something with a group growth, there's something about an end of a cycle. There's something where you guys might want to renewal something. I feel like you're, you up deciding whether or not you want to have a bond in the matter. Can I... Can I bring these two elements together to make something harmonize? Something about healing. Can I heal something? Mm, let me cry. Hold on. And we also have freedom. Some of you guys feel bound up. I feel you're bound to something. Bond. Freedom. Okay. I feel like some of you guys have this routine. There's something that you do day and night. I feel like there's some interruption here. I don't know what this is. Something got in the way where it had to interrupt everything about the way you express yourself. So I feel like right now, Capricorn, you guys are expressing yourselves in ways that you have not before. Meaning, if you're typically somebody who's quiet, you're going to say more. It's like this complete shift. I don't know why. It feels like there's something with a bond. You're trying to find harmony in something. And some of you guys do not have the freedom that you're looking to have. Give me more. Yup, because somebody's trying to trick you. As a matter of fact, you guys are aware that somebody's doing some real shady lying. I hate to say it like that, but that's what it, that's what it feels like. Some kind of a bond. Somebody's bonding you to something, or some of you guys paid bond to get somebody out. Bond freedom. Some of you guys paid to get somebody bonded out, so they could become free. Now either they went back in or something like that. It's a possibility somebody went back in because they were trying to control something, or somebody has some kind of resentment. I don't know. There's something about trickery here. Somebody's practicing, you know. They're trying to pull a wool over your eyes. So you guys could have paid for something for somebody. And there you go. They lied to you about something. Whatever this is about. This could be your Aries lying to you. It could be a Virgo lying to you. 
whatever that's about. All right, it could end it. Listen, let's hold up. Let me see something. Let me tell you what else. To, am I about to shade today? No. All right, but we could say this could have to do if I want if I want to read them shady, right? This could have to do with the lovers. This is could be a Gemini. This one could be an Empress, right? She's a bad Empress. She's not a good Empress, right? So this one she be doing shady stuff like that. Hold up, let me see what else we got here. Yep, lovers again. Hold up, yep, lovers again. This is definitely some Gemini energy here, and then we have a Leo here. With somebody that's broke. <laughs> my shade, man. Anyway, yeah. So, and then it looks like we got Virgo energy. Somebody's over yelling press. So that could be anybody doing that. Anybody. You got preachers yelling it. And, and, you know, a whole bunch of folk out saying stuff at night in the middle of the fire. And then they're going to sit right back and act like they ain't doing it. You got the right sister. Because I don't care. You came from my backyard and now I'm coming for y'all. Listen. I tell you, I like to do shady stuff. Them people that like to throw stones and hide their hands. Well, guess what? Ain't this the eclipse or something? What this? Yeah, so it's all gonna come out. Anyway, let's take a look and see what's going on with Aries. Show me Aries. Show me Aries in this relationship with Capricorn. We have abundance. Aries is getting paid. This is blessings. Look at all the fish in the world. I was hungry. Now I got mad fish, and now I can help feed the other the other crows. Look, there's some kind of abundance that comes in for you guys. This is new beginnings, new opportunities, and it also talks about potential. Give me more. You're also displaying more leadership skills as well for some of you guys. All right, give me more. Ooh, okay. We have a commitment. Some of you guys um looks like a, it looks like some of you guys are. Working to gain some kind of abundance or you put the hard work in and your abundance is coming. This is your current feelings. And it says that you guys want to commit to something. So you either want to commit to your plan, mastery plan, sharing or whatever. Or this could actually be romance, love. And we have somebody's willing to take a risk. So it looks like somebody got their bread together or they did something to make their future a little bit more prosperous. There's some commitment that they're making that could be in love, that could be in business. And we also have some kind of a risk. I'm willing to take a risk on this. This is about my foundations. I'm dependable. I'm moving sensibly. But I'm going to take a risk on something. So if I take a look at it, I'm, I'm willing to make a change. If I look at this and read it that way, you guys are willing to make a change, right? It could be some conflict that comes along with it because risk is conflict, right? It's not really. If it turns out great, you know. But it's a risk. So it is a change. It's something that you wouldn't necessarily do before, right? It's instability. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but it does look like somebody takes a risk and either there's trouble that comes out of it or this is even being a daring, you love fun, loving commitment. I feel like somebody's going to take a risk on commitment and it looks like there's something with insight here. Let's see. That's about a partnership. Trying to find harmony in a partnership. You guys are trying to find harmony with somebody who's over tricking you about something. I don't know. That's what it feels like. That's your current energy. You're getting myself together financially so I can be open to some sort of a commitment. And it does come up with, well, I don't know how it turned out. But you do have the lover's reverse that comes up. A Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get into your energy here. We have the devil that comes up under Capricorn. That actually is a card of Capricorn. That's, yeah. All right. The card says that you're in a dead end affair, something about a dead end affair. Some of you guys could be suffering from emotional abuse, emotional addiction, emotional abuse. The cards are saying that the Capricorn that shows up in this read actually has this very violent attitude, a violent personality. It's an abusive personality. It's violent. This person could also, and I, gosh, I hate to take it this early. This person could actually be responsible for some sort of trafficking. All right. This person is capable of emotional blackmail. They operate under ego and they create obstacles that they put right in the way of Aries. So Aries can't move forward in something. All right. It also says here, restrictive circumstances. Now this Capricorn could be doing this because they're stuck and they're like, I'm stuck. I don't want anybody else to grow. Why would I want you to grow? Something like that. But it's emotional blackmail. They have restrictive circumstances. And they don't want any better. That's what it looks like. It looks like they don't want any better for you. It also signals some kind of lustful energy. Very lustful sexual energy. They could have addictions with drugs, men, women. 
whatever this means. So we do have a Capricorn that shows up. Now, let's be clear. Capricorn, this shows up in your line, but it shows up. Your energy is over here. And I do see that there's some trickery over here too. Right? And I, All right, so my point is this Capricorn, even though this is your line, this could signal another Capricorn. We also have the Nine of Pentacles that comes up. It says here that Capricorn... It says either you or whatever. It looks like this is your, it looks like in some instances, guys, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. In some instances, this is actual, your Capricorn's energy, the devil. I'm egocentric, I'm, I'm lusty, but it also goes into the Nine of Pentacles where it says, you enjoy solitude. I enjoy being by myself. I'm comfortable enough financially where I can retire, right? I feel like I've arrived, literally, page 143. It says, You've arrived <laughs> financially, some you know, and look at that. I've arrived. Mm -hmm. Look at this sister on the card. She feel like she arrived. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, so it says that you guys feel like you've arrived. It also goes on to mention how there's these disputes that you've been having about property, property work, something with the neighbors. These, these, their neighborly disputes. You guys have been arguing with a neighbor. The neighbor could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo who they, they don't like you. They don't like the way you do stuff or something like that, right? So with the Nine of Pentacles, it says that you enjoy solitude, but there's also this windfall of money, enough money to retire. You feel like you've arrived. It also mentions family brawls. So if you guys have been fighting with the family or had some kind of disagreements, it looks like there's going to be a period of time where it stops. But it also goes back, right, to you getting this money. Let me just see something. Hold up. Okay. There's something with this money making you happy because it talks about you buying friendship or love. The devil card talks about buying friendship or love with the nine of pentacles. So you bought your friends and then you have the nine of pentacles here where you're in solitude, but you're enjoying your finances. However, the cards do go on to say that your energy comes up as love them and leave them. I feel like for some of you guys in this particular relationship, if we look at the character of this person, it says that this person is unfaithful. All right. This is a love them and leave them type. Unfaithful, led astray, emotional problems. This person is also uh, mentally ill, this Capricorn. Now, this could be male or female. This person ain't got it all. Literally, that's what, that's what it says. It also says that. This person, this Capricorn, is expecting a message from somebody. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that's never going to come. This person is not going to reach out to you. If this is a separate matter for you, Capricorn, no, that person is not going to reach out to you. It says the message is delayed or it never arrives. I feel like it's never going to arrive, but some of you guys, the form of message may come up in a different way. Like you might receive some notice from that person, but I don't think it's going to be what you're waiting for, right? So the cards also say that you're obsessing about somebody who doesn't care about you, right? So I feel like this is a Capricorn that shows up, but if we look at it in relation to Aries relationship, it looks like Capricorn's got a bunch of crap going on, seriously, right? They got addictions and trafficking. They operate out of ego. They make their money. They buy their friends, right? They feel like they've arrived. Like I've done enough crime where my accounts are stacked and I've arrived like that. But it also goes on to say that this person is fickle. This person likes to flirt with other people. They obsess over people that do not care about them, right? This card, it shows that there's something with this. Just think of a shady Don Juan. That's who this person is, right? So this person got hurt somewhere because they was checking for somebody and the person wasn't checking for them. So they like to play the field. Aries, let's take a look at you. This is a lover's reversed. Now, Aries, I get a feeling that you've been looking at this Capricorn a little sideways. It says that there's something where you guys... This is a warning to the seeker. So Aries, a warning to the seeker. This is a lover's card, represents a Gemini. Actually, the energy in between is another, it's an air energy. I find that funny. Earth and fire. And for some reason, the air just keeps popping up. Ain't that about a something? Okay. So we have the lovers that comes up. Now, this is a warning to the secret. Who is this seeker here, right? I want to paint the picture of the Aries personality. This person could be an activist, a humanitarian, like a humanitarian or an activist. This person could be a support group leader or someone who specializes in acquisition. It says something about 
adultery, it says something about sex without love. Right? I feel two different energies here, but I feel one is might be a little bit more innocent. Don't quote me on that. It says here that this Aries comes up in this relationship with Capricorn as, I want this to work. Like, I, I want this to work. I feel like I'm going to try and mix this with that to make this and that. And it's not like a black magic type of thing or anything like that. It's kind of like, I will adjust emotionally to accommodate you. Forcing cooperation between two elements that don't necessarily work. It does also say that this Aries as something with breakups and there's something about commitment issues. It also says that there's some kind of tension that is forming from Aries to Capricorn. Like, I don't like how you did that. You know what I mean? It's almost like there's an acknowledgement from Aries who at some point could have been very noble in this relationship. They feel like, yo, Capricorn, I'm not like, I don't, I'm not really liking how you do. Like, I see your energies focused all over here. You got this, that. I just feel like there's some concerns that come out and there's some kind of tension that ends up mounting between these two. Also, with the Page of Pentacles, it says, and let's take a look at this. I get this feeling that this Capricorn could be a little a little younger. Either both of you guys are young because it does say that there's a possibility both of you guys could be younger. Right? You do things that are a little odd. But I think one is willing to go a little further. This Capricorn is willing to go a little bit further than this Aries. In terms of stupidity, like if we all do stupid, I mean, past a certain age, if you're still doing, I don't know, if you still celebrate and getting money off somebody's back, like that's ridiculous to me, but you know what I mean, selling organs and stuff. But anyway, yeah, it says something about the Aries here. Let's paint the picture. This is a younger energy, could be younger than Capricorn. Now, it also says that this person, this Aries, is financially savvy. So they have access. Look, there's a cell phone. You know, I'm buying stock off my cell phone. I'm this and that. Maybe I'm recording a show, right? And for some of you guys, it's about intelligence because this person is studious. There's something about winning. Somebody has the ability to make money. They have these ideas, right? So the narcissists and the trickery people say, oh, your idea is stupid, right? And then you'll have some... Oh, you know, her show is just stupid. My show is so stupid. First of all, why are you watching it and why are you copying my content? I'm just saying, like, if it's so dumb, if, you know, because that's what they did. They said, oh, you, your business is a joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, my business is a joke, but you stealing it. Is that so, sir? Just saying, sat down. Don't make me go there. I ain't fussing. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway, this person is kind of like a cash cow. Aries is kind of like a cash cow. However, I feel like there's going to be some finances that do come in because this is a page of pentacles, right? So this is somebody, and let's look at it. This is somebody who's been patient in what it is they do. This is about a new job or a raise coming in, or there's going to be some kind of family or money news that comes in. Some of you guys are going to find out that your parents or your, or some figure, <laughs> maybe on YouTube and nobody met him, know him. He decided he was going to come up in your backyard. You might hear some news about somebody like trying to yank your money. Anyway, this does end up bringing you to your purpose. You're being advised when this money comes in. Just avoid extravagance. You guys, if you weren't extravagant before, I mean, yeah, I mean, listen, buy a new color socks or something, right? That's fine. And nobody, don't go buck. You don't need like 30 cars or whatever. So you guys might have some new finances coming in. Or... We could take a look at this again. <sighs> and we could look at this and say, you guys, listen, you are warned. You are the seeker looking into this Capricorn. There's a possibility you're, it seems like activists, you know, one of those people who's out in the community trying to help. This is about breakup commitment issues and tensions mounting. What are the tensions mounting? This is about somebody coming up for profit. I can benefit off you. You are younger. You might be a minor. Because it does say a young person, somebody could have signed a contract illegally, avoid extravagance. But it sounds like some of you guys got money. This is for the less stellar ones. Some of you guys may have got money, but then the three, the three of cups pops up where you start celebrating ahead of time after you advise to take a look at this, this Capricorn. So some of you guys could have turned a blind eye. So there was some kind of celebration. Some of you guys could have thought you had some money coming and spent it prematurely. 
or you decided to ignore the signs about how this Capricorn is getting their bread. Celebration. There was a celebration by households. So y'all was all over the place talking about it, right? This is three cups reverse, a celebration by household, family, or group. It says success in a business venture, but it also goes on to say emotional exhaustion. Remember, this is reversed here. This is a lost opportunity. Some of you guys were celebrating something and then it didn't work out, right? So it fell through. It also equates to somebody, maybe something about health, a declining health, exhaustion, loneliness. That could be why you turned a blind eye up here to you wanted anybody, like anybody. And so you wound up with the devil. Anyway, the common energy that plays out between you guys is the Page of Swords. Both you guys could have been athletes, athletic, some, I don't know, maybe you have athletic bodies or something like that. We got one that uh, I've arrived and you got this other one over here. I'm a cash cow. That's just like the more shadow side of it. But the point is where you guys celebrate too soon. Unfaithful, led astray, I celebrated too soon. I feel like some of you guys celebrated without looking. But let's take a look at the energy that comes in between you guys, okay? Now, this is the Page of Swords reverse. Like I was saying, you guys are athletic. But there's something where creativity could be blocked. You lack wit. In some cases, you both lack intelligence in some area, right? I don't know. It looks like it could be finances because people looking like they arrived and all this other stuff. So it could be the area of, of finances, but it indicates a significant mental state. These people are mentally ill. It says that it says that these folks could be so out there that they need to seek financial help. It says indicates significant mental state or need for professional assistance to address the mental state. I don't know. I feel like somebody's projecting. Now, this is a page of swords reversed here. If we go into it, right, it says information purposely withheld and malicious stories circulate. This is a dedicated campaign to hide or manipulate the truth on the part of a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Who shows up in this read? Capricorn, right? We have them. And then we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Gemini that shows up under Aries. And then we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. The common energy between the two is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right. Just saying. This person or somebody purposely withheld information. This was a dedicated campaign to hide or manipulate a situation or drive these folks apart or hide the fact that Capricorn is trafficking kids and people, whatever they're doing, to hide the fact that Capricorn is unfaithful, led astray, has emotional issues. Your hiding this trickery still comes up. Look at that. Yeah, but then remember... This Libra Aquarius Gemini still knows that this Aries energy is kind of like a cash cow, finds them a new way to bank, finds them a new way to make some money, right? So they suppress the information, you steal it. I'm just saying, brings energy and purpose to business. So you need this energy to keep going, right? You ain't supposed to be down watching no tarot channel. I'm just saying, I don't understand that. But whatever reward you do get from this Aries, you're being advised not to be extravagant, not like these folks over here in sight. Look at this here. Anyway, let's take a look and see what's going on in love. Just saying. Yes, honey. Let's take a look and see what's going on with love. <sighs> okay. <Yeah. clears throat> Show me love for this couple, please. Show me love for this couple. What's going on here? Give me a couple of cards. I want to move these here so I'll have some room. And you'll still be able to see the trickery part. But I don't want you to miss that. Now, this one over here is insight. Yeah. All right. Show me, please, what's going on with Capricorn in this relationship with Aries. Codependency, I need you. Addictions are affecting my love life. It's really funny because the devil is addictions. Codependency. I need you. I need your energy. I need your money. I need your free place to stay. I need you to allow me to continue to walk around in my ego and not be addressed. 
family brawls. Give me one more, please. Show me love for Capricorn in this relationship. Somebody's family is arguing over this nonsense. Uh, new love. A new person has shared romantic feelings. Okay, so there's codependency. There's new love coming in. Somebody's feeling like they made it. I've arrived. Give me one more, please. Codependency on a new love and children. Now, your love life is being affected by children. If this is the Don Juan lovey dovey, even if he do have children, he ain't taking, he ain't not listening. He ain't thinking about, he ain't giving no what's. <laughs> this person doesn't care. This person could think one of the downfalls could be the fact that somebody has children. That's just, that's so wild to me. Like, so that's why it's like the love them and leave them. And besides that, you know, this person is, will probably take your kids. I mean, it's the devil. That signals, I wouldn't have this, but let's put it this way. If you're a Capricorn and you show up in my read, the first card is the devil. That is emotional abuse. That's addiction. Restrictive circumstances, meaning I don't have any money. So I got to stay here with you and your your four kids. I have because I ain't got nowhere to go. But while I'm here, let me make sure I can control this whole situation. Let me make sure I can still shoot up my arm anytime I want to. Have sex anytime I want to. Operate in my ego. Emotionally blackmail you. All types of nonsense. So this person is really manipulative, right? If somebody shows up like that first card, that's alarming. And then they feel like they arrived. So you got kids, right? There's kids and there's also somebody who could be guilty and engaging in human trafficking. Child trafficking, I'm just saying. So I'll, I wouldn't have this person around my dog. Give me, um, show me Aries, please. Show me Aries in love. All right, we have, let your friends help you. I don't feel like Aries is reaching out because I feel like Aries has, or maybe they should have. Ask for and accept. Yeah, you didn't ask your friends for help. Otherwise, you wouldn't wound up with this person. Mm, let me not say that. You can tell your friends whatever. People are going to do what they want to do. Like, remember Noah said, what do you say? It's going to rain or something. And they laughed at him. Ain't that so? <laughs> All right, show me one more in love, please. Show me love. Um, all right, give your relationship a chance. Let your friends help you. Hold on, give me one more because I want to understand. Give your relationship a chance. Some of y'all knew better than to deal with. I feel like some Aries knew better than to deal with this Capricorn. You knew better. Maybe that's why you didn't go to your friends because you were shame or your friends are shady. Because this information purposely withheld from a group of people. Look, so these folks knew something. They knew that somebody was shady. Hold up. And then we have release your ex. So you guys are still holding on to some ex person who's thinking about somebody else who doesn't care about them. Like you guys might be dealing with each other and this person's on to their new love. They're codependent on you or they have some, they got it. This person has addictions or something like that. Jeez. Okay. Oh, give me a conversation. Oh, I don't even think I have, I don't have combo cards, do I? Now, let me see if I have any. Oh, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> I moved them. Because it was like I said, it was packed. So let me see. Do I have any combo cards? And this doesn't make any sense. Okay. Look, they're even in a box. All right, let's see. Now, this is going to help us gauge really who's, who's what. Let me try that. Okay. And let me move this here. Release your ex. Somebody's not releasing their ex. Give me a conversation, please. You know what? I don't want to. I, I don't really feel it. Let me see something. Just to be fair. Give me the common energy be between these two and love. Give me the common, common energy, please. Common energy and love. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Ooh, ooh, I guess we did need it. Somebody, okay, either you guys, this information purposely withheld from you. Somebody, both you guys could actually be married to other people if that's a common energy. You guys could be withholding information from each other or there's some Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy that pops up and there's something they're not telling you. That could even be the person that tried to connect you that didn't tell you the other one was married. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, oh yeah, I want you to meet my friend. My friend so-and-so. So you show up to meet so-and-so, but then you got this garbage friend here who forgets to tell this so-and-so is married, right? That's what I get. Possibility. So, and then after that, so-and-so going to take pictures of you and say, oh, he was out with a married man. No, you constructed it the whole doggone time, didn't you, sir? Just saying, sir. Mm-hmm. You don't like when you all over the news. You better sit down and listen. I'm trying to tell you. I don't care. You got the right sister. When you turn my life upside down, I'm coming for yours. Right? You shouldn't have been in my greenhouse. And you shouldn't have been listening to my conversations. Right? Was that legal, sir? Was that part of the contract, sir? Just asking, sir. Anyway, <laughs> give me a conversation with these folks, please. Oh, the good thing is, there's another kind in here, so. Yeah, let me pull this out the back. Mm -hmm. So you start calling out these devils, all of a sudden they want to cry, Oscar. Huh? Get out of here. I don't give a what. That's as clear as day I don't. You did it. Now you're going to pay for it. Especially when you bothering innocent folks because you want to cover up your crap and your bad habits or whatever you was doing. You was looking for anything. You had people calling me up about freak nicks. Sit yourself down, sir. You can explain it to the judge if we can find an honest one. I'm sure there's an honest one. I, I don't know if there's an honest one out there. What is an honest judge? One that is genuinely honest or... One who's got their butt up against the wall and it's like, you better tell the truth now. Otherwise, this is like that. I don't care which judge it is. I want the one that's going to rule right, to be honest with you. Anyway, give me a conversation, please. <laughs> give me the conversation, please. What's going on, Capricorn? Capricorn 2 Aries, let's see. You are in my heart now and forever. And I will always be faithful to you. Is this the same lie and wonder that... Like, give me one more, because I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Give me one more. You in my heart now, fam. Because it says you ain't faithful. I really need to hear from you. I don't like being in the dark about what's going on in your life. Yep. See, because this one wants to control you. So they're going to tell you they love you and everything else. I love you. They're full of crap. They have limited restrictions. They can't go anywhere. And they're going to make sure that they rule your house. Hold up. You and I have run our course. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. You see this nonsense? You see how they love you? One minute. Hold up. Love you. You're in my heart. I need to hear from you. You and I have run our course. But you was just begging me for a chance. Like one of them psycho... These people have mental disorders anyway. <laughs> That's what the cards say. So they're going to say some backwards, strange, whatever. Give me a conversation. What does Aries actually have to say to Capricorn, please? I stare at your picture a lot. You are so beautiful. Okay. Give me more, please, Aries. What do you... Hold up. Aries, let me shuffle these. I stare at your picture a lot. What else do you have to say to Capricorn? Mm. I love talking to you. I feel like I can tell you anything without being judged. When you tell this person something, they want to hold it over your head. I, I feel like this is... I feel like the Aries is younger. Give me one more, please. Give me one more. From Aries to Capricorn. You will always be my favorite hello and my heart is goodbye. Yeah, it looks like they grew up a little bit. You and I have run our course. My favorite hello and my heart is goodbye. Yeah, I feel like you guys may have grown from it. Common energy. I feel like this is over. But it was a dead end affair. That's what the cards say. Or there's some dead end affair. Let's have a nice dinner together and enjoy ourselves afterwards. So look at this. They're still willing to have sex. Or that could, or that could be the manipulative Leo. Oh, Leo, there's a Leo somewhere. That could be the manipulative uh, Libra Aquarius Gemini that wants to have dinner after. <laughs> Give me one more. I know you are sad, but I will make things right between us. This is. Hold up. I can't imagine my life without you. You rock my world. I'm here to destroy your world. I want my life without you. What I, I don't know what this means, guys. But anyway, is there anything else I need to pull? I feel like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know, man. Hold up. Let me, let me just do something real quick. 
Guys, bear with me for a second. Because I don't want to get rid of these. And I don't really want them all over the place. I don't want to make my job harder, you know? Just saying. Alright, hold up. Let me get rid of these suckers. Get rid of these suckers! <laughs> Alright, let's see. I will pull a couple of these. But I really don't want to... Um, I don't want to focus too much... I don't want to focus too much on the negative parts of... I mean, the whole read is... It's a story. So it's not like... I can't do nothing about what these people do. I have no idea. But I don't want to focus too much on the crime piece of it. Right? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pull these cards here. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to do the other ones. You know, because I see right off the bat one neighborhood comes up. So whatever's going on. All right. Let's see. If this has to do with... Uh, moral things or crime things what would the crime things be show me capricorn moral crime whatever <laughs> oh hold up how about this how about i shuffle these again what's up hold up y'all oh, okay that's why oh, wait, what's going on oh they all over the place <laughs> I'm just trying to turn them over because it's annoying. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I'm going to give them a shuffle and we're going to pull this and we are done. We're done. I'll be back with more, um, more smoke later or nonsense later. I don't really feel shady today. I feel mad calm, like, but it's morning time. Morning time. If this has to do, show me what's going on. If this has to do with crime or whatever else this could be, tell me what's going on. Show me Capricorn. Cap Capricorn is a sex offender. Look at that. There's something about a sex offender. Now, please keep in mind that there was a dedicated campaign not to disclose certain things. Omit information. Don't tell it. You don't need to know. Now, this information was purposely withheld from the comet energy could have been Capricorn, he or she, self he or she himself herself whatever or libra aquarius gemini <clears throat> somebody did not disclose that this person is a sex offender and this person feels like they arrived give me one more if this is capricorn please laugh and be happy yep so the second card is consistent we have somebody who's a sex offender that comes under addiction. We have laugh and be happy. They feel like they made it. I made it. I got that bread, man. I was doing all the trafficking and stuff. I'm like, the money went in my account. Hey, yeah, I like that. Give me one more. Give me one more under Capricorn, whatever this is. Fantasy. Yep, I'm living in the fantasy. I don't know if this is a fantasy where you thought you weren't going to get caught. Fantasy. I'm here to provide a fantasy for you, all right? I'm here to make myself look like an upstanding citizen, but if we take a look at the actual test, the text, it says, I'm love them and leave them. I'm unfaithful. I'm led astray. I got problems. I got mental issues. I'm expecting something. I'm obsessing about somebody else. This person, this Capricorn, could actually be obsessing about another Capricorn, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Show me if this is crime for this other one over here. Who is this again? Aries. If this is crime, show me what the crimes. Let me shuffle these again. Mm -hmm. I'm a sex offender. Look at that. The devil. Uh, that information. A dedicated campaign to purposely withhold or omit information. So this person purposely didn't tell you that they were sending you a sex offender. Look at that, dog. This person is a serial killer or has been accused of being a serial killer. This person could smoke cigarettes. This person could have a history of being accused. An accused serial killer. Hold on. Give me more, please. Give me more. What else if this has to do with Aries? Oh, silenced. Silence came out reverse. So I feel like nobody can silence this Aries. 
I feel like they're going to say whatever they want to say. I feel like somebody tried. Look, somebody was all up on them trying it. Silenced. Whatever happened here, I don't know who was trying to silence who, but it looks like it didn't work. Somebody's face is big, the chin is big. They wanted them to disappear. They're still here. This person is still hiding. I don't want to say hiding. Certain things haven't been disclosed. I feel like Aries ain't telling their whole truth either. Give me one more, please. Give me one more. Now, I feel like these folks down here, stalker. Yup, okay. So, Aries is a stalker. But, of course, they're, ster they're serial killers. They're stalkers. That's how they know where to kill you at. So I'm not surprised by that. Give me the common energy. If it's crime for this Libra Aquarius Gemini, what is it? So one is a sex offender and the other one could be a serial killer. But remember, Libra Aquarius Gemini energy didn't, they didn't look. Oh, deceit. I told you see, these folks are married because it came up in the cars. Both these people are married and high. So they're married sex offenders, married stalkers. Mm, mm, mm. And Libra Aquarius Gemini I forgot to tell that part. Look at mistresses. There's a mistress. Like this person in between here knows all that. They know and they dedicated campaign not to tell so they could get pictures. You got shady. They, mm. Parent abuse. What is parent abuse? Is that when you abuse them? Maybe these people have had fights with their parents before or were abused by a parent parent abuse whatever that means um i think it came up like that let me just give me one more please one more um this energy please help me polish off help me to understand what is the purpose of this line deceitful deceitful mistress parent abuse oh depression somebody was deceived some somebody was deceived by a mistress so i will what did you think? Parent abuse, depression. Depression, parent abuse, mistress. All right. Depression, parent abuse. Somebody is deceived. There's some kind of depression caused from parent abuse. Something about a mistress that's reversed. So, and there's some sort of deceit here. The deceit is this, the mistress could be the same sex. Information being purposely withheld. Mm. Anyway, I think that's it. I love you guys. That's it. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Hold on. Like, share. Subscribe, please. I love you guys. I'll see you in a little bit.